Hello, I'm Hallie Pilot. Well, two of Indiana's Republican representatives in Congress are among 17 lawmakers who signed a letter today asking House Speaker Paul Ryan to fast-track a bill that would permanently repeal the medical device tax. Congress passed a two-year suspension of the 2.3 percent excise tax at the end of 2015, but medical device manufacturers want a more permanent solution. In the letter, lawmakers say the tax, quote, subjects the U.S. device industry to one of the highest corporate tax rates in the world. Congress has unsuccessfully backed similar bills under the Obama administration. Well, several people gathered at the State House today to argue for saving the Affordable Care Act. The rally was part of a national Save My Care bus tour sponsored by proponents of the landmark health care law. Local social justice groups say the idea of a health savings account is unacceptable. So the big plan is to have underpaid, underemployed, underserved individuals pay for their own yeah, health care yeah, coverage yeah. when they're already underinsured. The rally ended with a mock funeral procession to Senator Todd Young's office, symbolizing the Hoosiers estimated to die each year if their Medicaid coverage ends. And Indiana's popcorn harvest set a record last year with yields up nearly 30 percent compared to 2015. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reported today that 2016 total production was a record nearly 500 million pounds, worth $71.4 million. That's compared to $50.7 million in 2015. Experts say that 2015's crop suffered because of a frequent rain and reduction in production because of less demand from processors. They also say that warmer and drier weather created perfect conditions for last year's crop. And a look at tonight's weather forecast, low of 33 with some snow flurries. And a look at the five-day forecast, tomorrow will be the peak for the week with a high of 41. And Thursday through Sunday, you can expect temperatures in the 30s with a chance of rain Saturday and snow on Sunday. For more local news, head to WTIUnews.org. And catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.